Such a close matchup, too. The lead changed numerous times. It was a one-kill game for so long. But the little details, and this was a sick triple from Zerka with that follow-up on APG. Yeah, I love it whenever you see the triple. Players immediately. It, it's literally a triple happens. Where, where is it you, at? And you see the aim just <laughs> moving left to right. You know that they're they're thirsty. You just check every door. Like, I just checked this one, but just in case you're <laughs> just back in there. Case. Just in case. <laughs> Someone wants to get that nasty over because they know that the camera's on them. Right? You hear the crowd. You know that the camera's on them. Anyway. So let's look at the series layout. If you're just joining us, welcome. This is a great game. Tox versus GMS, some of our top-seeded teams here at the UGC Halo Classic. Make sure you go on Twitter. Use that hashtag Halo Classic to talk about who you think is going to win this game. Is GMS going to be able to get the reverse sweep and come back starting with Construct, King of the Hill, or will Tox end it with a 3-0 right here, right now, and allow me and Dave to go to Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, we're really hungry. We, we have missed out on dinner and we cannot wait to eat. But uh, I uh, am more excited though for this upcoming game because if this goes the distance, it'll be well worth the wait. Yeah, you know, because you get to a point, right, where like it hits like game three and it doesn't happen, it's not a 3-0, then at that mind, you like accept it in your brain. But sizzling chicken and shrimp still gonna be there exactly. later tonight. You're right, Dave, they close at 1 a.m. <laughs> All right, here we go. It is now time for game number three. Let's see if Tox will end this one. But I think GMS have plenty of fight left in them as we go to King of the Hill Construct. And Lethal playing around this pillar nicely. He gets a double. And I really just like the movement there, Dave. Yeah, and reading not only uh, where that player is potentially going, but also seeing the spawn of two of those players in open left. So obviously you can give his teammates all that information. And you should see how APG plays this one out. Um, in most cases, I feel like the sniper would go unnoticed had it lifted up immediately. But maybe he's just playing extra safe and let one of his teammates lead the way. Because anytime you get one of that on one of the streets, you, you're just a force to be reckoned with. ABG with a awkward play here, but that's going to be the immediate kill onto Goofy. There was another player by the river, Eco, makes quick work of Zerka. Hill still not, not, no one in the hill Heal right now. Control. No, team's just going for slays. Um, even though uh, this bomb hill is considered a scrappy hill like I talked about before, where you're more inclined to just get a few seconds, die, stop them from getting as many scrappy seconds. Um, in many cases, you don't want to just be the first one to die in that chain of events. You don't want to just give up that free kill or, or sorry, that free death. In most cases, you want to have a reason to go into that hill. You want to say, all right, I laid down damage on this opponent. That means I now have at least one uh, small advantage for our team before going in this hill and potentially dying. APG has held this sniper down here the entire time. It's allowed his teammates to spawn in. Yeah, I don't really like it. Uh, but uh, here's the thing. They, they have a player. They, have, they allow GMS to get control of the hill because they're setting up for the next one. Yeah, so maybe maybe that was overall part of the plan in time. It's like giving that but, sense of um, comfort, maybe. Yeah, potentially. I still feel like if he, uh, yeah, I I would have to ask him and see what his uh, mindset was Ill during that set of events because maybe he just felt like he can do so much more damage down there since he's already with his teammates. But I'm always a big proponent on uh, uh, construct when in doubt. Get onto the top of the map. That way you make sure your teammates are getting top spawns, can help you out. I don't think it you ABG did not see the overshield pushing up on the ramp. And because of that, he was able to go in and eliminate everyone around that hill. That's just a disconnect oh, within their team. Oh, though. my just word. <laughs> That's just a disconnect within their team, though. Um, obviously, they did not have uh, the coordination to know who was watching open ramp at that time, whether that was the hill person's responsibility, whether it's the top goal, or whether it was just a perfect series of events from members of GMS attacking from multiple angles and not every angle being able to be watched. Yeah, I mean, that's just unlucky timing, you know? You're not always gonna get every single moment, right? And even if you're you're patrolling around, it's that one, one, one moment that is gonna be the difference maker here. But GMS, they're getting some points on the board. 53 as of right now, continue to maintain control on the high ground, but talks are starting to push up. And that's gonna have to prompt Goofy to go low to high and fight Snakebite. Rockets are gonna be available. The Snakebite gets out of there and he's gonna get killed by Lethal. So Lethal had Snakebite's back. Now he can go up on the gold lift and see if he can uh, protect his squad member by the hill. And this is going to be dangerous here for GMS if Tox are able to get one more kill or so and set this up because 
having to pulse that rocks to the purple oh, list, boy. especially when two people are up there uh, That's be, the being best control. friends, as I like to call it. Um, uh, just, yeah, go up the lift at the exact same time. You never want to give that two for one with the rockets. Uh, and, and you know that the you know that the rockets are have to be by the hill. They have to be, right? He he got away with it. He didn't see Snakebite's name pop up in the kill feed. So surely he's gonna be around there. And you go up holding hands, and then yep. you, you know you go Can't back to the respawn be. screen holding that's hands. That's Brendan. That's for sure. No, you never want to see that, man. Well, okay, so let's look now. Snake bite. Just this guy's getting everything. You look, he's got a sniper. You look, he's got rockets. Now he's going to have the overshield. And Gabriel's like, nope, not dealing with that one. But Goofy, he wants to take the challenge. He's going to get that melee, and he's going to manage to stay alive. Right there. I felt like Goofy had the lunge, and I assume he would have had the connect, and I felt like uh, Snake bite had taken enough damage where it should have been a trade scenario. So not exactly sure how uh, Goofy did not get that trade there, but Snake bite's going to be happy with that as him and the rest of this Tox roster are setting up near this bomb center hill. As you say in Overwatch, my friend, unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> unlucky. That's it. You know, sometimes that's really what it just boils down to. It's unlucky. Uh, maybe we get a C9. Who knows? Uh, anything's possible here. But all right, 77 to 63. And we're back down to that lower hill. Scrappy hill, as Walshy put it. And last time, there really just wasn't a lot gained out of it. I think it was like 40... Under 50 points, I think, total was earned in that bottom hill. But it was also because you had APG with the sniper in gold, like back gold lift, that was not allowing anyone to really get anything there. And just look how the cycle of fights go when this hill is in the bottom center, or on the bottom half of the map. Uh, if the team gets pushed all the way towards the bottom center, so oh. like we saw from Cox, where they didn't have, they had a couple members down, and uh, GMS had the hill. They aren't just going to solely attack from that main ramp. Instead, they're going to lift on up. They're going to get someone over towards the sword side so that they can attack from a couple angles. Um, so that was really important there for Tox to just get that rotation in. They had to, at some point, kind of flip the point and say, all right, I think I'm safe to go up this lift. Sometimes oh. you choose wrong, and sometimes it doesn't work out. But it's the risk you have to take. GMS now have the lead. 95-89. Zerka has been putting a lot of shots into the body. Gets that kill on lethal, but he does not get the kill on the player that's on the high ground. Over to Gabriel's POV now, and they're getting, oh, they saw it, they saw it, they were going for it. They, I, I, that tells me that they don't have a clear idea of the timing. Now they should have a, a, a better idea of it because they just saw yeah, it. Yeah, go they should walk have a near exact it. timing there for. But for it was the clear they were a couple seconds off. They're a little off, or um, it could also just be straight up mispositioning. Just because there's there's going to be plenty of times too when you know exactly when the power up comes up, but you just can't get there in time. You you could try to forcefully run straight there, but in most cases you might just give up death. So uh, I don't know exactly what the circumstances there, but yeah, like you said, now they almost certainly have the exact time. Lethal's going to go down. It's going to be up to Snakebite here, who won't be able to stand tall. APG backs up in GMS. They're going to get bodies in the hill yet again, and they're going to be and some great setup. spots. Full setup. Exactly. Yep. I was just about to say, full setup, not going to allow Tox to get any kind of ground here. But two members oh, get taken nice. out at top gold. I don't know exactly how that one played down. If that was a couple members at Tox, or if someone from Tox just got absolutely clutch. That was just looking like, you said, GMS was getting for near full setup. They had someone over at Sword to see if anyone was going to try to sneak up the legs. Uh, that player who's over at Sword can rotate to either purple or left. It's just the ideal situation, but as soon as you start to see your, your strong point falter, as soon as you see people die at gold, it's just, it's, it's all over. The trade out by Gold Lift. And APG gets meleeed from behind, so the back whack catches him off guard, and those are the callouts. You start to see APG just trying to communicate with his team, let him know someone popped up behind us, and now Goofy's going to be sitting inside of the hill. And his teammates, they need to set up. They need to set up and allow them to get back in this game as they're down 144 to 126. Great nade placement, and that's going to shut down the push, and that's where things get really dicey here on Construct because there just are not many ways for you to push up or no. to be able to get positions. you got to go up these freaking lifts and you don't have any choices. Once again, there's yeah, no there ladders, is, not walls. There still, is, there still is a certain strategy between going up the lifts uh, as far as timing goes, making sure you're not doubling up on the same grenade, making sure that uh, if you are going to go up in a pair, you want to go up, uh, like I said, spread apart enough that you both are getting hit by the same grenade, but also close enough that this other player is not going to be able to like take out your first opponent, your first teammate, and then throw a second grenade. You, you need to find that 
perfect timing window between those two areas. Now this is where we see if this is the plan, if this is the strategy. So he goes up the lift, he saw his teammate die, realized that there was a player that was more than likely called out, and now he's doing what we expect, getting the, the, the clean angle, looking over the hill, and letting his, his team push into the hill. Yeah, uh, one of the reasons you can usually get away with bringing Snipe over towards top goal uh, when it's at the spot of hill is because generally no other player has much of an incentive to be over near top goal. You don't have angles or anything else. Uh, your PR is relatively ineffective when you're that far away from the hill. So um, in most cases, players are going there either for some sort of flank, if they got some sort of spawn, or if they're trying to, like you said, deal with that sniper player. So that's why uh, a lot of times players can actually bring that sniper there and why I think it's uh, not uh, usually a bad play to bring that up when you're on the bottom half of the map. Also, APG, shout outs to him because when he realized that that was not a winnable fight, he had the sniper and, you know, luck of the draw there, the sniper ended up toppling over the edge on sword. So no one was able to get the sniper, and which would have been really, really difficult for Tox to deal with. I think got a couple I, bullets left in it too. If you ask me, it's kind of it's kind of cheap and greedy, man. I think I, I don't I don't like that style of play. I think he should have played with honor and left the other team out the sniper, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Dave, I mean, it was okay, you know. I mean, I, oh, what? What? Fantasy. <laughs> he went for the melee, but the game gave him the hard debate, and he ends up dying. You hate to see it happen, folks. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't tell if Fancy got uh, caught a little bit on the geometry there in Sword Side, or if that was just yeah. like the random sort of that was the old that Golden expired. Boy melee, uh, old Golden Boy, where it's just completely ineffective <laughs> and kind of annoying. Great stick though. It's gonna remove the overshield from the from the game as of right now. 182 to 153. If the game keeps Ooh. going like this, Tox will win. They'll win 3-0. Can I also talk about how great of a play that was from Lethal? A lot, a lot of people will look at a stick scenario like that and be like, all right, yeah, that's just, you know, a lucky stick or player set up for that. But Lethal uh, intentionally lining that straight up. Um, clearly, if it was any other player besides the OS, he would not have gone in just straight for a stick. He would have backed down, thrown a, thrown a grenade, you know, got his BR advantage, and won that fight on the individual thing. But as soon as he realized it's OS, he decided to just take his life with him. He knew he had no other choice, right? Because the battle rifle wasn't going to do enough damage. Yeah, he wasn't going to get the kill any other way. But so if point, you get the stick, great. If you don't, whatever, uh, right? Well, yes and no. Um, I, what I was saying is he went for such a high percent stick right there since that player's trajectory was already caught by that gold left. So ah, it wasn't fair, like fair, that fair, player yeah. could change direction and avoid the stick. So that's why it wasn't like a risky random stick. Because in many other situations, if uh, if that player was not lifting up, I bet Lethal would be going in for shots slash melee spurs before going for any sort of plasma grenade. That way his other teammates are not running into somebody who is just a full overshield person. You need Field to do control. some damage to the overshield. You can't just all go for random sticks unless they're a high percentage play like Lethal did right there. Off the heels of a double kill, Snakebite and company are going to continue to hold the lead. 193, 177. A double kill for Eco as well, but he won't stay alive. He has no shields lethal, though. Finds Fantasy in front. Fantasy, though, going right back to the perp lift. And he will not be long for this world, but there is going to be some help there, and lethal doesn't stay alive. And now GMS. They simply just need to hold a setup, and but he goes to the yeah, yeah. As soon as they get that setup, it's well, like, I was gonna say, it's it's like oh, all these members hill. of uh, Tox aren't here anymore. I wonder where they're at as APG is powering up his new overshield. So uh, yeah, obviously it seems like they are a little off on some of those rotations, and clearly off with this overshield. Obviously Royal One on top of these times for this Tox squad, and despite uh, previously when GMS clearly had a near exact time. It doesn't feel like they've been able to use anything with that information. Not able to turn that power up information timing to uh, to actual acquisition. Avoided that power up, powered up plasma pistol. When you charge it up all the way, it takes out the overshield instantly. And APG counting his lucky stars there, he didn't get tagged by. That allows him to be able to push forward with his squad so that this way they can remove players in the high ground. And they still hold this lead. Doesn't stay alive. Eco, another double kill for him. Let's see what they're going to do now. Sniper in the hands of Lethal, but the Rockets are going to ensure that he is not long for this world. And Eco drops down to handle Gabriel, the VR battle in play. That's going to be the end of Gabriel's spree. Doesn't follow with the double as Zerka cleans him up. They're trying to get as much scrap time as they can, and it's working yeah, it's because they're going to come working. back into this game day. 
So oddly enough, a lot of, a lot of times when you are trading fights and or just trading damage from like bottom of sword towards the uh, the hill, um, it's really not that unfair of a fight for the people in the hill as long as they have the numbers there in the open. The the time when it really starts to hurt you here in Construct Hill or um, on the bottom hill is when they actually have the multiple angles. If they all just keep tacking like swords slash bomb rockets, it's really like I said, not that disadvantageous disadvantageous of a situation because you're both trading damage but you're getting time during that this game is so close walshy one minute two seconds left there is no clear oh. winner and apg did not clean up zirka zirka still going to be alive can he stay oh but lethal lethal gets the kill the hill is now moved and the action is going to continue here on the close side of the map and this is such a tough situation. You see all these members from GMS pushing over here on Close Street. Desperately trying to get this close lift and just trade after trade. But Eco playing a little bit more cautious, playing a bit more patient, decides to scrap up this OS as he's going to move on over towards top gold and help Tox get control of the hill. And did you see that play from Eco as well? He looked over at his teammate's screen to see if there was going to be anyone hanging out in the lift when he jumped up so that he would not get back whack he would actually get some value out of that overshield few seconds left on the clock it's getting to that point where it's mathematically impossible but tox have done the deed and they're going to be moving on in this competition in the upper side of the bracket gms going to losers bracket but still a great game of construct king of the hill that went down to the wire yeah what a well thought out battle from both those sides there games two and three just neck and neck Amazing stuff from both teams, but it will be Tox 3-0 to end to, to end day two in St. Louis.